In this video, I want to answer the question of what if I don't have a credit score, but I still want to buy a home? Well, it's not impossible to buy a home without a credit score. It does mean there will be some extra requirements and your loan's going to be looked at a little bit closer simply because you don't have the uh, credit score on the credit report. And it also means that you and your lender are going to need to do a little extra work to build some credit history for you. It's something called a U.S. non-traditional mortgage credit report. So what they're going to do is they're going to check some other credit references that you'll need to provide. Rental is one of the key ones. So it's going to be really important that you have some rental history. And so you need to have rental history for the last 12 months. Now, this is really, really important. If you're thinking about buying a home in the future, it's important now to start preparing for this if you're renting. If you are renting from a property manager, the lender can send a rental verification form to the property manager for them to fill out and tell the lender how you've paid for the last 12 months. If you're renting from an individual, you they may still do the, the rental verification, but you're also going to need 12 months of canceled checks to prove that you've made your payments on time for the past 12 months. So if you're renting from an individual and you're paying that individual in cash, this is going to be a problem. So start now if you're looking to buy a home at some point in the future and you don't have a credit score and you think you're going to need this rental verification, you need to make sure that you have a paper trail for the rent that you paid for the past 12 months. Very important. Some other things that can be used for credit references would be any kind of utility bills, you know, gas, electricity, water, phone bill, insurance can be used, anything that you've been paying on a monthly basis, uh, auto insurance, rental, renter's insurance, medical insurance, anything that's not payroll deducted, that sort of thing. In some cases, childcare expenses can also be used for, uh, for uh, uh, credit verification. So just know those things, prepare now. Like I say, you're gonna need to do a little bit of extra work. There's some other requirements too. If you wanna get into specifics or have specific questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly and I'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching.